What's going on, everybody? All right. I know Black Widow's dead, and um, you know, we're kind of like going, okay, that was sad. It's a defining moment in the MCU. You know, an end game, her sacrificing herself. It's great. It's all fantastic. But we promised to put out a Black Widow movie. Now I know we should just do a flat out, hey, let's just tackle the origin. But we're not going to do that, okay? I think what we're going to do is hire, you know, one of these indie directors again. Just kind of, you know, give her the template, the formula. Just going to flat out do that. Okay, I think that's just what we're gonna go for. I think ScarJo will be happy. Uh, people will be happy, you know. I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. I mean, I know, I mean, maybe we shouldn't have killed her off and just, you know, did a whole movie, but I think this will be okay. We're just gonna stick it right between Civil War and Infinity War. I don't think anybody will complain, you know. But then again, who knows? <laughs> who knows where the world could be? For all we know, some crazy thing will happen where people uh, can't go to the movies for like a year. And they're just going to be so desperate to go to the movies that they're just going to, you know, be kind of excited for this. It's going to be good. Okay? Let's do it. What's happening, everybody? Dave the Film Junkie here, bringing you a film review of Black Widow. Black Widow, of course, stars Scarlett Johansson, Florence Pew 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 Pew. I can't, I, it's hard to like say her name without doing the sound effect. David Harbour, Rachel Weiss, you know the story. And of course, <laughs> it's Black Widow. I mean, my little bit at the beginning, yes. It, it, it's just kind of funny how it's like, all right, yep, here we are. We're at a Black Widow movie. We already kind of know what's going on. This is taking place right after Civil War. So Natasha is on the run. And at the same time, she's going to oh, wait a minute. And I know about, yeah, the things that, you know, when I was, you know, a full on widow, mind control, all this stuff. I want to end all that and make sure that's not happening. And then, of course, she uh, comes across her family that she eventually, you know, that she once had. And they all kind of team up together to take down this bad guy. So what did I think of Black Widow? Oh, you guys already know this was pretty mediocre. And after sitting on it for a bit, I mean, you saw my first reaction review where I was just kind of going, you know, I always, I, I, I swear to God, I mean, I, that's what I kept, I kept seeing that on my timeline. It was worth the wait. It was worth the wait. No, it was not worth the wait. It definitely was not worth the wait. I, the fuck were you waiting for? But it's not all bad, like I said, and what is my favorite part of it, it is it is Florence Pugh. I mean, she really kind of stole the show for me. I think what's sad about this is in a Black Widow movie, the side characters were actually a little bit more appealing than the actual character that this whole movie is supposed to be about because honestly, Scarlett Johansson, I mean, she still played the role as she did. Sometimes it got a little wonky when it came to the more dramatic scenes. It was kind of weird. But Florence Pugh was just kind of, I don't know, she kind of stole the show from me. She was badass. She just, she, I don't know, I have a crush on her that does help, really does. She just, you know, she's a great actress, obviously, and she could pull off that Russian accent very well. So did Rachel Weisz. She was, uh, she was very uh, likable, very likable. David Harbour. Now, yes, sometimes it got a little bit over the top, but most, sometimes it was all right, funny. He was a comic relief, and of course, they do all the, the little gags with him and stuff like that, trying to fit in the costume and everything. But it's just kind of like I said, what was kind of mm, kind of interesting was like those characters. Yeah, we could probably just do a whole movie on them next. And just having the story after Civil War and everything, I don't know. It just felt so out of place. I mean, obviously. What can work with it is you kind of go, okay, then you start linking. You, you put that little, oh, there's a little empty spot in between these two movies. We could place it here. But at the same time, I'm just kind of going, I, nah. So what worked? Well, like I said, I think uh, the dynamic between Scarlet and Florence was pretty well done. I thought that was good. Uh, some of the action was um, pretty good, like the fight choreography. But at times, it did get a little wonky, edited so quickly and everything. And then, of course, uh, I mean, yeah, well, I'll get into the bad because there's plenty of bad. Tying into the MCU, I mean, they did a pretty good job with that. You know, you got some characters like William Hurt's character. And then, of course, there's several mentions of her being an Avenger and talking about all that. So, you know, that was kind of cool. You kind of see all that. But, uh, you know, when it, that, that, I, it's pretty much it for me. The bad. 
CGI, of course, because there's just sometimes it just looks really, it just does not look good. And it's mainly because it's always like a broad fucking daylight. So you just kind of see like, eh, it's just, you could see the seams. You could really see the seams. And it's just like, it's just a Marvel formula. It's the total Marvel formula. And it's like, you kind of wonder, because you got a director like Kate Short, Shortland, who I don't even, you know, I don't think anybody's really heard of her before because obviously she's never, she's just like her first big movie. She's done some TV and stuff like that. But you kind of almost wonder, like, do they hire these directors so then they could be like, well, this is what we're going to do, even though you might have something different, which I think they could have really went somewhere with the character. This is what we got run by the numbers. Car chases, craziness. I mean, again, I mean, it was, it was on, it was on par with like the Fast Saga because there's cars flippity flippity floppities and blah 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 and everybody just kind of walks out unscathed and and uh yeah it's like well isn't there only one person that's uh i just turned on my light right here uh <laughs> turn off only one character is the super soldier right i mean it's kind of all right but at the same time it's like yeah sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't and uh yeah it's just it just gets a little too crazy and then i guess they didn't want to go full-on origin story when it came to her why they should have just delved deep into it. I, that would have been a lot more compelling and interesting, and I think that would have worked a lot better than trying to cram it in between two movies in the timeline of the MCU and feeling out of place, stuff like that. I think that was the most interesting part, but they just kind of just blow right past the whole origin of her, like especially, I mean, we saw we had a little bit of a taste of it in Age of Ultron, but it was just like, yeah, to me, it just seems like that would have been a little bit... I don't know. It just would have been a little bit more compelling, I think. And But they decided not to do that. And then, like I said, it's just a run by the numbers, you know, Marvel formula. Um, and then, of course, we got the Taskmaster thing. And Taskmaster was... Masker? Taskmaster was trending today because people were finding out what they did with the character. And I won't say anything. I'll wait for my spoiler review, which I'll be posting probably tomorrow. Um, is, yeah, I could, it, I could see why people are upset. Part of it doesn't make sense, and, you know, it could have been a very interesting character, but it very much wasn't. But I will say, though, that it does set up some things like it does, like Marvel. That's a, that's a thing. This movie seems like, it's just like, hey, well, we, 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 told, we, we told Scar Joe that she wanted, you know, and she needed, that we're going to give her the movie. We're going to give her the movie, but then, you know, now we're going to set up like a, yeah, I mean, I could totally see them setting up stuff. I mean, they, of course, do, but. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, there's, there was a lot there that they could have really delved into. If you're, if Natasha is going to go after, like, when she was like mind controlled and shit like that, and part of the widows, uh, why not just do an origin and do the back and forth thing? But they just kind of just, they were like, nah, we're not going to spend that much on the origin, and then, you know, we're just going to kind of gloss over it, and we're just going to do some cool shit where she's driving and on a motorcycle and kickity kickity kickity, hey, hey, you know, doing some leg wraps. So there you go, guys. I don't know what else to say. I mean, like I said, I'll do a spoiler review and talk about uh, the spoilery stuff, like task master and uh you know the villain and stuff that you see in the movie uh and then of course the post credit scene it's only one scene which i was surprised about but yeah post credit scene all that stuff i'll talk about that in the spoiler review but i'm just saying i mean it was just it was literally just a run by the, the numbers it was a marvel formula you know it starts off you set it up you have some you know you just have that second act that's just full of like okay we're trying to track down the person the bad person this that and this and then at the end it's like a big huge climactic you know craziness i mean it's literally it's it's fucking nuts and the shit that happens you kind of go well, all right some of it's kind of cool but not that part and the villain is weak you're like i don't even know who was the main dude and then yeah there's taskmaster but then it was like who was the dude i don't even remember his name or anything it was just weak just weak as per usual just so so there you go guys that's my review of uh black widow um you know who's it for obviously people who love the marvel movies uh, mcu movies which you know i don't love every one of them and i was had high hopes i kind of went in with low expectations and i just kind of got went yeah that's what I expected. I walked out just going, yeah. Okay. There you go, guys. That is my review of Black Widow. Like I said, I'll be posting my spoiler review tomorrow. So look for that and everything. So let me know your thoughts about Black Widow down below. Hit that like, thumbs up. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm doing this stuff. Please subscribe or join or and join, I should say. Become a Film Junkie member, support the channel. Get some um, added bonuses with that, like videos and streams. And then, of course, there's Patreon if you really want to help out the pirate ship. Take part in some streams. And then, of course, merchandise down below in the Film Junkie closet. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Thank you.